Okay, so our workflow is ready. Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how I have automated news scraping from the internet about a specific topic or subjects and then used AI to process and publish it to our Discord community for our members absolutely for free. This video is the first video of an entire automation series that I am going to publish on this channel where I would define appropriate process and going to automate different aspects of my personal work, business and YouTube channel related workflows using AI wherever possible and share those details with you as tutorials. If you are new to this channel, my name is Avijit, you are watching Know Together where I try to simplify latest tech and innovation for your future and your business. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to use different open source tools and AI APIs to scrape AI related breaking news from the internet and going to publish it to our Discord community to make the community more stronger and also updated to the latest AI advancements. I have many more such automation projects that is planned and also going to be coming to this channel. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. In this video, we are going to use the following tools. First, we are going to use an open source tools called Fresh RSS, which will fetch all the latest AI news from the internet using the RSS feed. Next, we are going to use an workflow automation tool, which is again an open source tool that I have already covered in this channel before. And this tool is going to fetch the RSS feeds from Fresh RSS and then help us create the workflow where we will use AI to do some processing of this news and then publish it to the Discord server using a Discord bot. Of course, we are going to use free and open source AI APIs using Open Router in this case. And also, we are going to create a Discord bot which should help to post all this news to the community. Let's first talk about Fresh RSS. Fresh RSS is a completely open source and free self-hosted RSS aggregator that you can use to aggregate different RSS feed from the internet. The installation of Fresh RSS is very very simple. You can actually follow this guide to run it as a Docker image as I am also doing in my local setup. This is as simple as running this command and that should start the Fresh RSS Docker image which you can access through your browser. If you see the docker ps command, you can see the fresh rss instance is running as a docker image. Now this is running on 8080 port and you should be able to see this console which is the fresh rss console. Now you can go to subscription management and you can add as many as rss feed that you want to track to get different news from the internet. Now this RSS feeds that I have added is specific to AI, but if you have your own subject of interest, you can add you can add those categories and then start adding those RSS feeds. Now, once I go to this AI update, you see this button. If I click this button, that will give me the URL of all the news that it has. It is fetching live from the internet as another RSS feed XML which is an aggregated RSS feed to get all the news that Fresh RSS have aggregated in one place. So this is the URL that we are going to use in our workflow management tool called NA10. So next, let's go to NA10 and start create our workflow to automate the entire process and show you how I am doing it for my Discord community. Okay, so before going to the NA10, let me open the Discord server and set the permission for the particular channel and block the view channel access for now we are because we're going to do some testing before we make it available now we'll come into the net and console and we'll create a new workflow let's name it discord ai news or something like that next what we are going to do is we are going to add a manual trigger node because we're going to do this setup for now and then we are going to add an rss node so let's add the rss node and then the RSS URL field will add the fresh RSS link and then click execute node and that will list all the RSS that the fresh RSS have put together. Now there are a couple of fields there as you can see. What I'm going to do now is add a loop node 
because you can see there are almost 158 items that we need to process now we'll de delete the default node that comes with the loop node first and then we are going to set the batch size as one because we want to process one rss feed each time now for the loop like for each of the rss feed we are going to first check whether the rss feed actually contains something so we'll add a string there and then we'll set the we'll check if the json content so we'll drag the json content and i will check if the json content is not blank yeah so we'll select it's not empty and then we'll add a set field node this is optional but here i want to basically set all the variables first we will set title and we'll drag the title then we'll set the link for the rss feed and i'll drag the link or, or then we'll set the publish time and we'll drag the published date and finally we'll do we'll set the content variable and add the content here and we set no input fields to ensure that we only have these four variables which we will use in the further steps now let's add an openai chat model so we'll use the chat model to read through the rss feed content to ensure whether it is postable to the discord community or not because a lot of the time your rss feed might have content which is not relevant so we are definitely going to use open router here because we are trying to build it for free we'll use the mistral ai 7 billion model which is for free available in open router and because it's open router so we'll need to change the base url so we'll set the base url to open router.ai slash api now one of the problem is that i can't link the open ai chat model directly with the workflow so for that what i need to do is add a basic llm chain node this is more sort of an ai agent a simplistic ai agent so i'll add the model there and then in their prompt, I'll add the system prompt. Now this will be an efficient system prompt where the AI, where I'll instruct the AI model to check whether this content can be posted or not, whether it is related to AI related topics or not. You can see the entire system prompt on the screen. And I've also added the title and the content as I have saved in the previous step. Now if I hit execute node, it should just respond yes or no. So if it says yes, that means it's good to be posted. So as an alternative, you can always test other models. Like I, I am testing the Cohere model as well because Cohere also provides free AI APIs. You can create a trial key and test it. Now next, we'll add an if node. So we'll just say whether the previous node, if we'll set, we'll check if the previous AI node have responded yes or no. If it is yes, that means we can send it to Discord post. If it is no, then we cannot send it to the Discord community. If the if output is false, we will drag it back to the start of the loop node. That means it go, it will go to the next feed. But if it is true, then we'll do some further processing. So we'll add another LLM chain. And this is where we'll do some summarization of the entire content. So we'll again add the OpenAI chat model as LLM and we'll do we will do some summarization of the rss topic with the content and the title so i'll again add a detailed system prompt which will help and, and i'll also provide the link which will help create the summary let's hit the execute workflow button and as you can see a few of the rss feed have been irrelevant as it has been identified by the ai so it went into the false node and the one that was relevant came out true from the if node and then uh, then the summarize node have actually created a summary and now next what we have to do is send that summary to the discord server so we'll use a discord node not to be able to post it to the discord we need to be able to create a bot so we'll go to the discord developers portal we'll create an application there and there are multiple method of connection type you can choose we'll select the bot token which is the easiest so we need a bot token to be created so we will just reset the bot token here reset the token here copy the token and paste it there and save and you can see the connection is established next we need to import this bot into our server so we'll go to the auth2 
we'll add a redirect url which will be just our n8 url you can add anything really doesn't matter because we are using the bot type bot token authentication type and then we'll add some permission we'll select its bot add it some permission and then it will generate a url you can use this url to import that bot into the server so we will do that exactly here we select the server click continue and then authorize it and you should be able to see that the bot is added and we'll add this bot to this particular channel and we'll give this bot a permission to view channel and also post uh, messages create threads yeah and then click save now it's time to configure the NA10 node so we'll send a message we will select send from the server we'll select the node with their community yes we are going to send this to a channel and then we're going to select the channel where we want to send it which is important ai news and we will send the summary as well as the link so yeah we just select that link there and that's all let's do a quick test one more time and it's finished up and we can see that it has now posted a news so what we'll do at the end is we'll drag the end of the discord workflow into the loop node once again this will ensure that once this message is processed it will again come back to the loop node and process the next message okay at this point let's do some improvements so our basic workflow setup is ready so let's do some improvement so first thing first what we will want to do because we are using free ai apis we need to ensure we are not hitting the limit so we'll add some wait time between each of the AI call or the LLM chain and then once all the RSS feeds are processed we'll, we'll use another edit field node and here what we'll basically do we'll just add a last check time variable and we use the now time like so this will basically generate the current timestamp and then we are going to convert the, this output into a binary from json and then we are just going to save this into a file why we are doing it we'll, you will see very soon okay so we have got that and then we are just converting this into a binary file and the binary file is like that and let's use the write to file node to save this binary information into a file and we are going to save it into the temp last rss checked file and this is the file that it has created and it has saved the timestamp and we have now linked it with the loop nodes done output that really means is once all the rss feeds are processed it's going to save the current timestamp into the file which is we are going to save into temp last rss checked file and the reason why we are doing uh, doing that is because we don't want the same rss feed to be reprocessed again right so basically next time we will query the rss feed we want to ensure that we are only reading through the rss feed that that is after the last process timestamp let's add a schedule trigger first so this will only ensure that this pipeline runs every few minutes or hours and then let's add a read binary file node and we'll keep the path of the template last rss check so it has it's now able to read the file now let's add the convert binary to json if you disable the set all data it will output their json it will output whatever the whatever was there in the binary file it will output it as json and then we are going to link it with the rss node however unfortunately in the rss node we do not have any options to add a filter to do like get all the rss feed after the, this timestamps we do not have that option for that reason what we will do is add a filter node here after the rss feeds and in the filter node we'll basically add the filter that the published date or the iso date of an rss feed must have must be occurred after the last check timestamp so this will ensure we we only pick up the rss feed which hasn't been processed yet right 
Okay, so our workflow is ready. And the final thing that we're gonna do is just do a testing by executing the workflow. And it will process all the RSS feeds one after another until it has completed everything. And then it will save the latest timestamp into the binary file. And there you go, we can see all the latest news processed using AI into the Discord community. So next we'll allow every member to see all this post that will be published by this bot. And you can see it has actually continuously posting a lot of the latest AI news from the internet to the Discord community completely ethically because we are not scraping from any of the web page. Rather, we are using RSS feed to scrape the news from the internet. Okay, so that was a very small demo about how you can use NA10, Discord bots and a free open source tool like Fresh RSS to scrape web information from the internet. If you want to do similar kind of automations, you can definitely follow this guide. Maybe you can fetch news specific to your interest of domains. Now I have a plan to do a lot more automations using AI and all these files and all this template which I have created in N18 should be available through the Discord community. So please make sure you join the Discord community to get all these AI news and all these project files. Don't forget to say hi to the community. So please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.